can sir tell me the answer baby what is going on it is me it is she-ra it is vera it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again one time for the one time for the remix we here to see what the energies are surrounding my beautiful beautiful cancers for the month of april yes indeed 2020 show me the money energy we is back at it yes and <laughs> oh my god we back at it again so listen uh, thank you guys so much for uh, like, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to everyone that is in safekeeping right now and in positive, positive energy. Um, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who's been sending any type of love donations to the page. Anyone that's been booking personal, private readings, been sending love through the Amazon wish list. We have a few new decks here. We have the Star Seat Oracle, which you guys sent through the Amazon wish list. Thank you so much for that. We have the Circle of Life Tarot, which is on the table. And this one is fairly new. You might have seen her before, but this is the Modern Witch tarot deck all right as well as what else do we have over here we have the archetypes guidebook and oracle deck so um i went a little old school the way that i used to do it you guys um you know back in the day i used to like read with like seven and eight different decks so that's what i have today i will not be reading out of all of them unless i felt moved to um i will basically be just pulling from wherever i feel guided to so we're just going to get into this energy we're going to first off give thanks for all of the clarity and all of the prosperity and wisdom that we've been given and um yeah so let's just get into that oh if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me only thing you need to do is click that about tab all right you'll see my pricing list and just send me a message on instagram and we can get it going if you do not have instagram you can always use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com and download an app called google hangouts and that's all you need to communicate with me is our email and we can do the video chat there if you don't have instagram okay so um if you have any questions or concerns as well you know like i said always contact with um contact me through the email or through instagram okay if you want to communicate with me all right cool now let's get into the prayer all right father god thank you so much for keeping us covered thank you so much for giving us this peaceful sanctuary where we're able to sit in the house and relax and chill you know cancers are basically homebody so we don't have no problem with being quarantined in the house and having to stay at home as long as we got some good food some good food some good music and we're around people that we love like cases is cool you know what i'm saying so i don't think that the quarantine thing is like really a problem with cancer i feel like the only issue with cancer is not being able to get out there and make money but at the end of the day i feel like cancer does work very 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 hard and this might have been purposeful because cancer does need like a body rest. They really do need a body rest because cancer will work seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? If if they can, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Father God, thank you so much for just giving us like physical healing. You know what I'm saying? Allowing our body to just find safe refuge at home and just relax and be comfortable and get our belly fat and just be around family and just experience love right now. So, Father, continue to keep us blessed continue to keep us not stressed continue to keep us towards our you know our foundation and continuously going and knowing in our purpose father god give us guidance for the sign of cancer show us the answers that we've been seeking for father god and continue to give us um you know blessed hope and daily bread for today and every day in jesus name amen yes sir yes sir so let's get into the archetypes since y'all want to go there today since y'all want to go there with the archetypes, Cancer is like, tell me who I am. Who I am. This is the death card. Who you are, you're someone going through a shedding of old skins. You're going through transition, you know. You're going through... A process where it's like untangling a web and you know creating a new a new one to attract a whole new type of creature do you understand so the web that we weave remember spider webs is some of the most powerful and strongest 
thread silk or whatever you want to call it if you ever got your face caught up in some spider webs you know exactly how hard it is to get it off of you you know what i'm saying so imagine actually being the spider that weaved that web and you want to attract something big juicy and delectable and delicious just right for you and like that's what you're doing this time i feel like you are getting rid of whatever it was that you created that was attracting whatever it was that you were attracted before it just wasn't suitable so this is the death this is a transformation this is learning how to create and then listen then the creator i was about to say learning how to create a new environment again you are wiping away all of those old webs and you're letting that go you've learned new threading and you're creating it with a lot of color and a lot of vibrancies. You are very rooted, like all of your chakras, your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, your heart, solar plexus, sacral, root, everything. It's like, you know, the shaman. So at this time right now, Cancer, you guys have been developing a spiritual gift. I feel like you've been running from it. Can we call the thing a thing? Can we, th can we call the thing a thing? You've been running from it. Because you see that, there go that snake. Like I said, shedding old skins. I said that earlier. Like, it's, you've been, like, running away from having to shed these old things and being who God wants you to be. And seeing that God wants you to create things in color. In every color, and every vibration. It's like you needed to get yourself really, really balanced. So that you can see. Instead of like asking God, who am I? It's like, who are you? I'm getting Alice in Wonderland. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? The shaman, you're the healer. You've went through all of these things. You're able to see the light in the darkness. Your understanding of transformations. Like the cancer be scared of transformation. Y'all are going, y'all shell and hide sometimes. But some of the strong, some of the strong, strong cancers, like I said, y'all realize that that outer shell is there to protect y'all. Y'all realize that y'all have those spikes there for a reason. Y'all not scared to use them. Y'all not scared to like, you know shell and wall everybody off if you need to protect and heal yourself it's like truly knowing thyself and knowing every emotion knowing every feeling and knowing how to be masterful in that and use that as your strength you know what i'm saying not being scared to like deal with wounds Putting that herbal medicine on it, allowing it to heal so that you can go on and be free you know what i'm saying like that is literally that diamond energy right there that is that diamond energy. That's that shamanic energy. That is that creator. Like, I am the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my own destiny. It's me. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me process this healing and process this death so I could create new life, so I could create new webbing, so I could use my beautiful silk to create what I want, to attract what I want. What is this? The Ten of Pentacles. Come on now. Cancer work damn hard. Look at this golden fish. Like I told you, what you trying to create, <laughs> what you trying to uh, uh, create, what you trying to attract to this web. You're like, I want a big ass golden fish. And you know, in the Norman, this means wealth. It means good health. It means prosperity. It means luck. You know what I'm saying? Blessings for your family. The Eight of Cups, you're trying to walk away. It's like you're trying to walk away. You're trying to officially emotionally walk away from anything that you felt like you were emotionally like being overcome by. And it's like you're hiding. It's like you don't even want to be found by anything that was in the living existence of whatever the fuck that was. It's like I don't want them to even see my success and all of this stuff like that. I just want to be gone. And it's like I am trying to camouflage myself and my success and my luxury and my greatness because I don't even feel it's like cancer don't even want these people to even see them they just want to pack up and go and just heal and deal with this shit and just move on and be happy you know what I'm saying so y'all might be hiding at this point cancer for some reason like listen y'all's hair is grown too come on cancer yes come on cancer yes listen 
Y'all don't let your hair grow out a little bit longer and stuff like that. Like, mm-mm. What is this? The Six of Pentacles. It's like you and your baby, you and your child or your children. Y'all are in safekeeping. It's like... After that, it's like, having the responsibility of having to protect and watch over and take care of this woman and this child and everything like that. But I feel like it's in secret. Why I feel like you in hiding, you in secret. It's like you still watch over them. You still financially give to them. You still like, I don't know if you still like have a key to this house or something like that. And you still like coming and you peeking on them or somehow, somehow like this person is still able to watch this lady and his baby while they're sleeping still drop off money do it in the nighttime and not disturb them and dip out because like this person is trying to be secluded and they're gone and they're building their success and their finances and their riches and I do feel like they're alone but it's like they're hiding from whoever this woman is. And they're just like, they're still taking care of them. It's like, um, and that's giving the two. It's like having two different worlds. But you're having to hide and sneak into this world just to check and make sure that they're okay. You know? Because there's something about that that's over. What is this? The Seven of Cups. So it's like having success being... <laughs> It's like having success, having a lot of options, having a lot of opportunities that are just being presented and given to you. This is someone who actually likes to have a lot of options. Um, and it's like this person is really trying to create something where they can have everything all in one it's like i really don't want to have to pick and choose you see how the seven of cups it just seemed like it's one entity thing like this so it's like i don't know if this person is like rooted in keeping their options constantly open it's like they always like to keep their options open and they're still going to be responsible. But they have like a heavy burden. Like I feel like this person plays a different role or a different personality. I, what am I getting here? What am I getting here with this shit? It's like this person has a lot of different personalities and a lot of different things that they're orchestrating where they're having to play like so many different roles and, and, and hold on to so many different aspects of different parts of their personalities with different people so it's like all right so with this person i i come like this with the other person i dance like this with the other person we roll like this with the other person i get to lay back with her like that or i get to do that or you know what i'm saying it's like moving differently with all of these different things and all of these different people that you have succumbed to feeling like these are still new options do you understand what i'm saying it's like this person gets a wand this way this one gets it this way this one gets it that way blah 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 you know what i'm saying i'm kind of getting like a playboy type of thing and wanting to have their options open and be different people to many different things and what is this yeah this is the king of wands the king of wands the king of wands I play many positions. I keep my options open to all because I play many positions to many different people. You know what I'm saying? I'm the king of wands. It's like a hard task to be 
this many things to all of these people, but I'm the king of wands. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, like they're hidden from them, but they still take care of them. And they keep themselves open to having to take care of everyone else. What is going on here, sir? Give me guidance. So, with this here, I do feel like this card represents, what is this, the Natos. That represents, well, I want to say like the, don't, I don't want to go there. I'm going to read this because it's like the king of the underworld or something. It's it's like, I ain't about to say that. Y'all fucked up. I'm not about to say that. It means death. It means death. It says, it is tempting to oversimplify death and sum it up as transformation, but the true archetypal residence of Thanatos cannot be easily assimilated or contained. Death is ongoing um, omnience, an eternal response to the gift of birth, witnessing the ending of another being. Create creature or phase or stage has deep consequences for the psyche. We are forever changed by death as it sweeps under our wings, making us relinquish control in every form. It leaves a mark upon our heart, signifying we have touched the cusp of the underworld and we return to the land of the living eventually with more compassion and wisdom to share. This capacity is needed in our world. One who has faced the annihilation of the Natos can be faced and can face anything. When this card appears, it signifies an initiation into the underworld. This means grieving, mourning, bearing witness to all that is. When in the dark, it says fear, insensitivity to old age, illness, or the dying. So, what I'm getting here with this, with the spider web, again, that could also mean to be careful of the webs that we weave um the creator because we are the creator like we literally are the creator of everything that look the creator it says curious playful open surprising it says when in dark losing sparks feeling burden the ten of wands can represent someone taking on too much than they can handle you know what i'm saying you having to be too many personalities too many things to too many people you know what i'm saying because you want to keep these options you want to be this king of wands you know and some and, and it's like you're walking away from a responsibility of a family but at the same time taking care of the family and being open to all of this stuff and it's like it could be a little bit burdensome. That I just I, I I have to see what the shaman has to say real quick, cause I already know what the shaman is, but I feel like there's an underlying message in the words that I need to relay. Where is it at? Okay, so the shaman says, a fearless student and practitioner, and then when in the dark the the shaman means someone that over promises, that blames, that hurts their self and hurts others. That hurts their self and hurts others. Okay? Oh my goodness. So it's like using, you, you have to use your magic and you have to use, like I said, that gift, that wand and everything like that. Because that could very much so be the magic wand, the magic stick, however you want to do. But it's like you are the master and you are the creator of your destiny and everything that you create and that you attract is because of your webbing. Do you understand? So that you can create financial success and everything like that. But at the end of the day. 
you might be taking on a lot of responsibility by all of these options that you claim are so beneficial to beneficial to you so that you could be even though you're taking care of the situation but it's like are you really helping or hurting yourself by trying to be so many things and so many people with this king of bronze energy this lizard it's chameleon I like to walk through fire a lot let me see what's this yeah the lover the lover boy I'm trying to tell you I already know that I already know that I already know that give me guidance on the on the death card please and then we about to see what this person is hiding from the death card the priest and it was in the reverse so I feel like this person is like not high like anti-committal like non-committal or something like that the priest priesthood means to give into like something that has a certain structures rules and regulations and a certain class of 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 deeds that you should abide by certain things that you should do or not do and it's like this person needs to work on i feel like being this one that needs to have many options it's like you taking on too many burdens and things like this trying to have this unconventional lifestyle if you will the enemy and I feel right here. So it's it's like this this person I feel like this hot and cold energy and this give me more. You got the death in the reverse. So it's like this person creates enemies because they have all of these lovers that they don't know how to end relationships with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they just create all of this drama. You know, they have all of these sweethearts that they communicate and message that are like subservient to like waiting for this person's texts and this person's, you know, they want ooh, service and the child. And the journey in the reverse. So it's like this person, I feel like this person with this King of Wands energy, this person has like multiple lovers that they don't know how to walk away from with that death card. And what is this? The size and then what is this? Being frivolous. So again, <laughs> this person creates a lot of enemies because these people are tired of sighing and waiting on this person when this person won't stop being frivolous. This is the frivolous card. Bouncing around from from flower to flower, like pollinating, you know, pollinating all of these flowers, being frivolous and stuff. And they're tired of like waiting, you know, and it's like they create an enemy amongst all of these lovers here. And I feel like this person has created a child that they're hiding. They're not there with this eight of cups, as you can see that this person is hiding but still kind of sneaks in and, and, and does what they have to do without being seen to take care of this person and this child that they've created. You know what I'm saying? So, because they might be trying to protect their money because I don't know if they want to, all of this money, they want to keep it. Because it's only them right there with the ten of coins. I don't see anybody else present with all of this money. I don't know if I'm getting selfishness a little bit but it's like some type of unconventional living here especially where they're not attached to the family and they're giving more to their options they're giving more to their options this person is a lover and does not know how to stop doesn't know how to put it into communicating and having all of these sweethearts like on the side you understand king of wands you already know how the king of wands roll these people are like servants to this person waiting for this waiting for service and i don't know these people might have a fantasy servant service you know what i'm saying like they're subservient 
to this person waiting on messages and things like that there could be a child in the picture as well and there's a journey in the reverse but it's like it ain't really going any damn where the journey is in the reverse like i don't know if this person is not like, give me guidance on this child in the journey please The old woman. So. I feel like whoever this person is. This old woman. They feel like this person is old fashioned. And they left the room. Like yeah. It's like it's old. It's old. Like it's old. That's why they're not journeying back there. They have options that they have ser they have servants that they gotta give service to these people like that is waiting on them. Yay, Dios me oh my Jesus. My Jesus Lord. Alright, give me guidance here in the name of Jesus, please. I don't even know what to say about it. I was not expecting this to go there. But it's like the death, like the ending. It's like be careful of what you're repeating. Like, don't be the the shaman is like the magician, but it's just like, I don't like the way this magician is using their power. Jesus Christ. You see how that whole shit just flipped, like the whole book just flipped over. Okay? So, it felt like this. So this is the death and the reverse. So, again, this person is not trying to stop whatever it is that needs to be put to rest. It's like they're trying to still keep something alive. Even though I feel like it's hurting everyone else that's in the wake of the situation. The five of swords. It's like things just keep getting uglier and uglier and uglier. Because someone just won't stop doing whatever it's doing. It's like this is getting to the point where people are going to end up fighting. And, and, and like there's no resolve or something like that. The shaman in the reverse. Like this person is not... Really take a responsibility for what they're creating. You know? It's like the underworld. The king of the underworld. Just, you know what I'm saying? It's like no commitment. No. Kind of like real standard. Like. The aid of. the. It's like this person. Creates conflict and chaos. With this five of swords and things. Like, like this is to the point where people. Might be fighting. It's like competition battle. Like you know what I'm saying. Like they're not battling with fish. They're battling with like. Harsh words or pulling out knives. And like physical. You know what I'm saying. Like physical fighting. And it's like this person creates all of this drama. And won't do anything to really stop it. And is not trying to work towards. Like making it better. You know what I'm saying? It's like they just create this drama and just let it go. And then just go on and create a new environment. A new beginning somewhere else. And allows this shit that they created in the background to just break down and fall down on its own. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this person does. It's like they create chaos and drama that they just leave behind and don't even try to do anything it's like they just like oh they'll 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 destroy themselves and i'll just go and you know what i'm saying it's like god help me god help me jesus god help me what the fuck cancer cancer give me guidance on this man that is like hiding away but still having to take care of a woman here with all of these options and trying to hold on to every dime that they have and like Jesus okay so this is over here by the older woman the seven of diamonds okay so it's like this situation over here with this older woman in this room, in the reverse, this man loves this older woman who I want to say might be outside of this child or something like that. Um, now that I'm looking at this because it's saying the Ace of Hearts, the Seven of Diamonds, 
and the eight of hearts. So whoever this person is, this older woman that whoever this is that they don't that whoever this older woman, I feel like this this is someone that like I said, has old fashioned values or something. I don't know if this person had kicked this person out of the house. Um, they don't live with each other anymore. Like, they're not, this woman is not, she's too mature. She's kind of, might have a little bit of gray hair or something like that. Okay, yes. This woman has a little bit of gray hair. Not a lot. I don't feel like she's older, older, older. But she just might be old-fashioned, older, might have a little bit of gray hair. Um, Like, I want to say late 30s, early 40s, old enough to have great hair, basically. Um, this is who this person really loves. This Ace of Heart. Like, this is who this person It says, oh, I had such a curious dream. They may communicate with each other in, um, like, dreams, through dreams or something like that. Like, they, it might have this, like, tele, telepathic type of relationship because there's no room between them could to communicate otherwise so like the only way that they can express their heart and communicate how they feel is through dreams um the seven of diamonds it's the seven okay okay so the seven of diamonds is basically like a big lump sum of money or like um like a tax refund, like a huge bonus, like buying a like like or buying a car or buying a house or you know something that you feel would give you a certain precedent set of prominence. Like maybe you don't have a room. It says all Mimsies were all the this shit right here don't even make sense. So to me, it feels like if you was to communicate with this person and not have your own house, to not have your own car, to not have your finances to shit together, like to this, it wouldn't make any sense. Because if y'all really look at this, do y'all understand what the hell they're trying to say? Because I ain't even gonna try to pronounce on this shit and make myself look and look and sound stupid. And that's exactly what this person is saying. Is like. I don't want to look or sound stupid because I want this love to be mutual. One will hardly suppose that your eyes were as steady as ever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, no one would have ever thought that I would have recognized, like, it's like love at first sight or something like that. I don't know if this person has grown old by now. Uh, if there was, if there, there's no, there hasn't been any room. This, this older woman is not creating any wiggle room. It's like, you got to come at me correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, she grown. Like, she big grown. You know what I'm saying? Let me get... I got to uh, get into the Seven of Diamonds for y'all. So, y'all can really understand what the Seven of Diamonds means. The Seven of Diamonds mean financial achievement, reward, and recognition. Earned success, steady improvements. Efforts rewarded. Lucky money. Wins. A pay raise. Improved prospects. A nest egg. Financial investments. Stocks, bonds, and e-trading. You know what I'm saying? So, again, that's that recognition. That's like... You got to come to her right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you have to, like, seriously come to her right. Yeah. So, let's get to... I feel like... And then the Ace of Hearts. Let me tell you what the Ace of Hearts means. The Ace of Hearts means happiness, the home, the residence, family, love, friendship, joy, source, the start of romance, um, situation with the home base... Uh, or the surrounding cards beginning of emotional period positive energy the soul you know so like I said this whoever this person is I feel like this person meant home to this person this is like I said I feel like love at first sight the eight of hearts means mutual attractions it means mutual feelings happiness comfort sharing one another togetherness working together and working with one another, a couple, emotional connection, emotional balance, warmth, enjoyment, relaxation, protection, you know? So, this person right here that they're not sharing this room with is something about things are growing old here. 
But this person has to. This person has a lot. This person has to do a lot. Because it's like. I don't think this, 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 that's why this woman, I feel like this, this shit is falling old and things is on the outside. You can't deal with her any other way. That's why it's a blockage in this room. The four diamonds, the two of spades, and the six of y'all ain't even talking to each other. Jesus, no wonder. So it's like the four diamonds represents, the four diamonds, it says, <laughs> Oh, oysters, come and walk with us. The Warrens did beseech. So, y'all remember what the Warrens did to the goddamn oysters, right? They talked them and, and pulled them away from their mother so that they can eat them. For their own financial, for their own, you know, prosperity and wealth. It wasn't for nobody else but to take care of their own stomachs and their own benefit. Do you understand? So, it's like someone feels like they got pulled away almost like tricked and like typically I wouldn't read this into the but you got listen you you have to follow me because the two of spades represents arguments fights um betrayal like someone being stabbed in the back like you listen someone knocked over everything it's like this this person felt like you pulled me from my mother or you pulled, you see what I'm saying? Like these, these oysters got pulled away from their mother. You know what I'm saying? And got pulled out of the sea and got beached under the premise in the guise that they were taking them to do something not to eat them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once whoever it is, cancer was or this person dealing with this cancer realized oh you tricked me oh you were trying to stab me in the back you was trying to come to me with fuckery you know what i'm saying they knocked over look look it says you're nothing but a pack of cards it's like they knocked this shit over and kicked them to the side and there might have been some physical fights y'all because i'm trying to tell y'all there was some physical i'm just fine like there was some physical fights in the situation it's like these oysters like you're nothing you know what i'm saying and left it says the prettiest are always further. Oh, it says the prettiest are always further. They knocked everything over. Might have been tired of the fussing and the fight. And someone felt like they got tricked. They got pulled away from their mother. They got pulled away from their security. I don't know if maybe this older woman is a mother. Or this could have easily been someone that was dating someone that was older that... It felt like home. It felt like love. It felt comfortable. Things were mutual. And it's like you pulled me out of this situation to only bring me conflict and drama. You know what I'm saying? And like this person, the six of diamonds is someone not talking to each to someone. Someone that is like, it means silence and spiritual belief that this separation is for the good. Like I'm doing what is I'm spiritually guided to do. It's just the prettiest ones or the further. So whoever the fuck this person is, it's like the more the prettiest people are the furthest from situations like this. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if this person felt like there is a responsibility of family and having to take care of someone, but it's like I'm far away from remember this this eight of cups like this person is hidden this person is hiding this person is hidden and is hiding and I don't know if they don't want to be married to this person they don't want this commitment you know what I'm saying whatever this is with this family it's like they don't want it they'd rather look for their other options right here the prettiest are always the furthest so let me go into because I got listen because Child, y'all, I'll be having to break it down for y'all so y'all can see. I, I'm not going to see here and, 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 and talk no boo-boo, okay? Again, it's like I said, someone pulled them away from a situation that they already felt was love and they felt was home. And they realized, that, oh, you tricked me and you pulled me away from this for, for your own financial security. The four diamonds means financial stability, financial papers, rented property. Like, they probably might have needed this person to help them pay their rent. This is a license, a certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbook, a wallet, jewelry, a office, a desk. This could have been someone like that you could have worked with too. You know what I'm saying? Like that you could have shared an office with. It's like they. Oh, God. 
goodness, hold on, y'all. So the two of spades. Oh, and then let me show you the six of diamonds. So the six of diamonds means quiet, timid, shyness, lack of communication, jealousy, possessiveness, psychology, social services. Okay, that's like child support. <laughs> Science, technology, computer, like you only talk to this person through computers. It says um, information system, diagnostic equipment, um, energy surge, vitality, uh, power, electrical shock, horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They could definitely be getting social services. And it's like, I'm taking care of it, but I'm not physically around and take care of you like I might be dealing with social services like this person only wanted pulled me away from my home because they needed financial security or something and that's why I like get the fuck away from me like you're nothing but a pack of cards like it's something about argument arguing since the two of space traditionally a card of conflict disagreement betrayal arguments anger resentment holding a grudge vindictiveness violence Bad news, a removal, a separation, something sharp, pointed, ice, the teeth. I'm trying to tell you, remember I told you like swords, like motherfuckers is fighting, like they pulling out knives and like shit's getting like deadly, like bad, you know what I'm saying? But it's, the, the only, like this person doesn't know how to end it, only way that they ended it just like I guess walking away and just letting it burn to the ground, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Why this person is choosing to end things this way. Give me some guidance right here on. Um, just give me some guidance for the King of Wands, please. What is this guidance for the King of Wands? The Joker. The Joker and then the Five of Diamonds. So, okay. The Joker means like. You need to have a little bit more faith. And also, it's says twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Like, also stop talking nonsense out of your mouth all the time. Because you are what you eat. If you speak negativity into your life, you're going to continue to breed negativity. Don't be a fool and ever not believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Like the same thing over here, it's like you you don't want to come to somebody until it makes sense. Whoever this was that this home was, I don't know if this is your mother's house. I don't know if this was, maybe you were dating a younger person versus someone that is a little bit older than the people that you're dating right now or something like that. But it's like you need to have faith. And then it says, beware of the Jabberwocky, my son. The jaws bite, the claws catch. So it's like, as above, so below. Like, you need to, like, spiritually learn from everything. Look, be careful of the webs that you weave. You understand? Because you're the creator and you're the magician. Do you understand? You're the creator and you're the magician. So you have a lot of power in your hands. You got to use it wisely. And you got to learn how to create death death is needed for transformation because if you don't learn how to end things correctly you'll never transform you know what i'm saying and you'll never really understand why there has to be certain structure in things i understand it's like you're not trying to listen i don't want to say that but it's like you're not trying to listen to god almost it's like god is trying to give you structure god is trying to show you the way how to end things and not continue to create this negative karma and use your magic and your power in the right way you know what i'm saying it's like there it's some way this cancer is being led by material possessions and it's like god is trying to teach you um away from that it says the five of spades traditionally well not the five of spades lord jesus not the five of spades. Lord Jesus, I hope you don't get no five of spades. But the five of diamonds is karma patterns, cause and effect. Like I told you, as above, so below. Like it says, beware of the Jabberwocky, my son. The jaws bite and the claws, they catch. So it's like, if I'm telling you this, why you got to go out in the streets and go battle with Jabberwockies? Listen, why you got to go battle with Jabberwockies to believe me? You know what I'm saying? And if you went and fucked with him before and only thing you got was drama and you had to, you realized that you wasn't strong enough to work on it. 
you just have this wand again you're the king of wands and you know how to start shit but how to end shit you don't know how to do it you just let everything fall you know it's it's mm -mm. No, 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 no. The five of diamonds means the law of attractions, thoughts that create experiences. So again, like I told you, be careful of the things that you say and the things that come out of your mouth. You understand? Because if you continue to speak down on yourself like, I'm a low life or I don't be doing this or blase, this, 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 and that. It's like you'll never amount to nothing because that's all you speak on yourself. It's even in your own thoughts. You understand? You have to pull yourself up and know that you're better than that because this is someone that feels like their foundation is sex. But you see what all the, all the when you lead your life by sex and promiscuity, you see what it brings you. Beware of the Jabberwocky, the jaws bite and the claws they catch. You have to listen and you have to learn from these karma patterns. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that you can really reach the prosperity. It says it means um, also charisma. Use your charisma in that magic for the right things. It says sexuality, animal magnetism, personal space. Local area, your home environment, your furniture, a large possession, property, speech, the act of speaking, an argument, a legal judgment or court case, the city life. You understand? So, and again, if you dealing with someone in law, listen, we said we already said social services and go up in there and make sure that you 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 sound it right. Make sure that you're going up in, in there sounding right. Make sure y'all going up in there. Sound all right. Let me give y'all some last ones, and I'm getting a bit sad here. Cassie, okay, so y'all always have the drama. <laughs> Someone getting the fuck away. Someone says the prettiest is always the farthest. Okay, bitch. The prettiest ones is always the farthest from this bullshit. Let me call social services and deal with y'all. Oh, the dog and the mice. Oh my Jesus. Okay, so the mice over here. The dog is over here. Okay, what is this? The writer, okay. Okay. Oh, they just told me with this writer down here with the death in the reverse, the five of swords. They said, Be careful of your allies, be careful of your motherfucking allies because something's going to happen that you don't see fucking coming. It's really going to destroy this shit. Be careful of the people that you hang with that you feel as your friends. They just told me be careful of your allies. Because remember, I told you this means backstab, betrayal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Blunt force, like real. It's domestic violence. Be careful who you talk to. Who you who you telling shit to. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't feel like it's going to amount to nothing at the end of the day. This shit about to amount to destruction. It's, and again, the writer, it's going to come when you least expect it. Do you understand? The mice, this means petty gossip. This means, like, when it comes to this court situation, especially if there's a court situation, because this has to do with you breaking the karma patterns and using your faith and learning. Be careful of the webs that you read. Be careful of the, your thoughts and the things that you say. You know what I'm saying? If you want to live a better life, you have to demonstrate it by your actions and by your thoughts. And you know what I'm saying? You got to have faith. Beware of the Jabberwocky, my son. The jaws bite and the claws catch. So at the end of the day, this is something that's been gnawing at you. This is something that you've been worried about. Some type of court case. Something about some legal justice judgment with this Jabberwocky. This is the Jabberwocky. This one that you've been trying to get away from. This one that you knocked everything over and told this bitch you had nothing but a pack of cards. And the prettiest are always the furthest. So it's something gnawing at you about this. You're very worried about it. And it's eating at you. Because you you were warned about this person. I, and you didn't listen. You wanted to do what you wanted to do. You didn't want to do what you should have did right here with this older woman, you were too busy being a dog. You understand? You were too busy being a dog. And this person wanted loyalty and faithfulness and someone to truly be committed, but you were out there running around, sniffing up under skirts, doing what you wanted to do, and that's why you were shut out of this room. 
you're nervous about this situation with this Jabberwocky and something is because it's like you won't end it on your own and it's like you have a fine way of creating enemies and it's like you're creating more it's like you're doing the same shit with other people it's like you just somehow it's like someone is still not learning their lesson the journal it's like yeah some type of secret that's going on here and it has something to do it's right fell right on top of the child and the journey the fuck type of secret is going on over here letter some type of results what commitment the ring so it's like you could find it you could find out a secret or something by like some type of text or communication or I don't know if someone ends up telling you like maybe the baby because the journal is secrets it's finding out something by some like text or something that you might have found out like the baby was to like force commitment or something like that maybe it was written somewhere that this person wanted to do this this child just something it was like a trap baby or some shit the fuck give me guidance right here the grave you need to end it like charge you like hello hello all of this shit is about death 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 listen death in the revenge in, in, in the reverse you don't want to end it death in the reverse you don't want it it's like you just walk away and create enemies the grave this is this was this still fell out in the reverse you still it's like you just letting shit get ridiculously stupid before and then this means the death too four death cards bruh i don't even know i just don't even know give me Okay, it says manifesting miracles. It says your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guide. You're trying to grow in a different way. And it's like you're trying to learn from this. It says when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So everything that you've been doing, being this lover boy or whoever this is, I don't know if this is the cancer, if this is the person dealing with the cancer, but it's for them to learn how to end situations like more responsibly. New beginnings, a new adventure awaits you. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Like you got to learn how to end things with peace. You know what I'm saying? To not keep creating enemies and stuff. Let me end with... Uh, a card of light, I'm hoping, in the name of Jesus. Okay, because I don't end up using the whole damn deck. All of the damn decks fucking around with y'all. Cancers always do this shit. Y'all always do this shit. But pay attention to, like, some type of letter of communication or something like that. It's something about some results. Give me guidance for my cancer. Give me one last word of advice for the cancers, please. Thank you so much. And we're going to wrap this up. Thank you so much. Okay, Star Brothers. Listen, I told you this had to do with a cancer man, Star Brothers. So this has to do with healing for our brothers. You know what I'm saying? All of this shit, if you're not a, if you're not a man, like, you're just listening. Okay? Because this was most definitely a masculine energy read. You know? So you have to learn about Chorus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, trust. This is what is trying to be brought and developed inside you. It's really trying to teach you how to be a king. You have to learn how to learn about death and transformation. This is someone that's really, really making it hard for themselves to transform. You understand what I'm saying? It's like they're fighting their own self. They want to continue to be like this king of the underworld. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being like a true, true king. Being a star brother, that's what we need you to do. We need you to elevate to this. Like, the more this same situation that you're running away, that you're knocking over this court shit, you're going to end up doing it with one of these little bitches that is just waiting in line to be a servant to you. Waiting for your service. You're going to create the same shit in a different environment. Yet again, if you don't learn how to transmute all of this energy into something positive and learn a better way. Horus, 
Okay? So this one is, was for our star brother. So anyway, I love you. And like it says, the prettiest are always the furthest. The prettiest is always a little harder to get to. And you got to put in, you got to put in loyalty. You got to understand them old fashioned values or they're not going to let you in their room. They're not going to let you in their space. Do you understand? You got to have your values and shit together and shit got to be mutual. Ain't no one sided. You understand bitches waiting in line for some fucking service and shit like that. Just trying to have a child or something to have. Listen, listen, trying to create a child. For an, uh, uh, that is the worst reason to have someone try to come back to you to try a uh, trap, baby. That's stupid. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace. Hit this. Just resonate. Hit the button. If y'all want a personal reading, y'all would know what to do. Hit me on Instagram. Peace.